Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck we have the lovers and this is Gemini energy uh, you could be dealing with the Gemini and this is a very strong connection I am seeing soulmate energy here you may be connecting here with somebody who really um, there is a strong soul connection very intense energy um, and the lovers can also show an energy of being at a crossroads certain decisions are needing to be made about this very intense connection here um, and I do see this could be um, also an energy showing that you and this person may be mirroring each other um, but there is a decision needing to be made as well around this connection Okay, so this is a very divine union um, and very um, soulful. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Scorpio. Okay, so the first card we have here is the World card. And this is Fixed Sign Energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio Energy. Next we have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. And finally, we have the star card, Aquarius energy. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, so I am seeing here that there is a longing with that star card. Um, there is a desire here for these two lovers to um, be together. And with the queen of pentacles, I see this as a desire for solidifying the connection. Um, there is definitely a strong intuitive feel for um, between these two lovers. It's almost like a tie. Um, you know, both of them feel this intuitively. There is a strong connection that cannot be avoided. It's very intense. It's very powerful. But, um, you know, there is a need to solidify the connection. So, um, you know, it perhaps putting um, some sort of a label on it or, you know, achieving some sort of stability with that Queen of Pentacles energy here. Um, and I do see that um, this is about to happen with the star card. That is definitely an energy of a manifestation about to come to fruition. Um, there is a hopeful energy. Um, you know, there this energy showing up is really that reminder that um, to not lose faith, to not lose hope um, because your manifestation is about to come to, um, to fruition. And with the world card, this is that energy of manifestations coming to fruition it's finally getting what you want it's you know the rewards um after the cycle is ended so i do see here that this these lovers will be coming together into union um there are some happy prosperous times ahead for this connection i am seeing them um getting into a st the stability phase a more stable phase with this queen of pentacles energy and um, it's almost like this connection is becoming more rooted, you know, um, more solid. And um, finally, there is an ending to um, indecision or confusion or waiting to be together. Finally, this is a very completion energy. Okay, so definitely a wish is being granted. This is wish fulfillment. Okay, so I'm going to clarify these cards, Scorpio.
case at the bottom of the deck we have the strength card and this is leo energy it could be dealing with leo and this is again showing that there has been some sort of um patience that has been having to be required um there may have been some obstacles keeping these lovers from being together and with the strength card i do see that this is a connection that's really proven to be very resilient um it's almost like you guys have really overcome some hardships some difficulties that were you know that could have kept you guys apart that could have broken this union apart but this union has succeeded they have um you know overcome the difficulty it's become stronger the union has become stronger and it's reaching the stable phase and with the world card that that's really you know getting your rewards you guys have been through hardship together and finally a wish is being granted for this connection so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this scorpio Okay, so the first card we have here is the Page of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius Aries Leo Energy. Next, we have the Four of Wands, Fire Energy again. And finally, we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy again. Okay, so I am seeing finally there is forward movement for this connection. And this is a connection that is really being solidified. It is, um, you know, getting structure. It's, you know, it's, it's finally taking on shape in the 3D. Um, this is happy times ahead for this connection. I see a, it's almost like a honeymoon phase or a stability phase, but a very blissful phase where, um, you know, things are getting easier for this connection, this union. Union. Um, and there is something that you guys will be celebrating um, there's a completion of a cycle very positive energy this is success this is a wish being granted and um, this is celebrating something um, celebrating the union friends and family loved ones coming together to celebrate this union and um, again I do see forward movement for this connection there is a spark and things are starting to progress um, you know things are finally it's like um, the, the momentum is picking up um, obstacles are being removed and um, this union is able to really thrive now um, and also enjoy a much more fun time so I do see hardships are you know coming to an end and there's happier times on the horizon for this connection okay so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you Scorpio Okay, so the card says a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries okay so i am seeing things are starting to really pick up speed this is going to happen quickly whatever this wish is being granted it's going to um you know the manifestation is very close to coming to fruition and once it does it's like things are going to move quickly things are going to start falling into place quickly and i see you guys coming to a very happy time this person recognizes you as home they feel safe with you both these people um you both feel this mutually i do see you guys mirroring each other and definitely there is mutual energy you guys both feel safe with each other comfortable with each other and you could even be progressing to that next phase in the connection where you may be getting a home together moving in together or whatever that is that next step is for your connection um there is a sense that you this connection is just taking on structure it's getting it's becoming more shaped in the 3d and um there will be something to celebrate soon okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you scorpio So the card says, Magnolia, nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Okay, so I'm seeing here 
um, there is a lot that you guys are overcoming. There may even have been some obstacles relating to self-esteem. Um, but I'm seeing with this uh, star card that there is also a forward movement. You guys are overcoming this. It's like you guys are becoming stronger as a union together and also gaining more um, confidence with this Knight of Wands energy. Things are starting to move forward. Um, you know, it's like things are becoming easier for this connection. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.